Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Coach A.B. Stokes. It's a privilege to get to visit now with the new head coach of the Bethel Threshers. Coach, congratulations on the new job. A great opportunity. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm just uh, I'm truly blessed and honored to, to be in this position. So uh, it's going to be a fun ride. So <laughs> we're going to find out. I look forward to watching that fun ride. It's been fun to watch the Threshers in, in recent years, and and you're a part of that turnaround. I mean, you're no stranger to North Newton at all. You were there when things really started turning around a couple of years ago, and uh, you've made the trip back into high school ranks for a little while. But talk about going back to North Newton. Um, it's, it's just an amazing experience. Uh, when we first showed up there four years ago, uh, myself and the, uh, the former staff, uh, it was in a in a whole different place than it than it is right now. Like right now, I think it's in an awesome position. Um, but it, it it was a honestly it was a, it was a lot of it was a lot of long nights. It was a it was a lot of it was a lot of hard work as as a staff uh, to create the culture that that is known on campus now. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was very it was very rewarding, you know. And uh, so it, it, it you know coming back to a place where uh, you were, uh, you know, a piece. Some some people say big piece. You know, I I, I was a, a very small piece, I believe, uh, uh, because it, it you know it was all guys playing anyway. But I think just just a very small piece of um, helping Coach Harrison get that program on the, on the right, you know, going in the right direction. And um, I'm very excited to go back. You know, it's it, it feels good just knowing people, the students, the faculty, and everybody. Pretty much, you know, they're excited to see me and my family come back to North Newton. So we appreciate the love and excitement, and I hope it's still there after we play some football games. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, uh, the track record is good in recent years there with Bethel. And then the last couple of years, of course, you, you've been a part of a program in Tulsa at Lincoln Christian. Uh, program just wrapping up its season as you made it to the state championship game. Came up just a little bit short there. State runners up there, and you've had some good time in Tulsa as well over the last couple of years. Yes, sir. Lincoln Christian, it's it's an uh, I know and people are gonna get tired of hearing me say the word special and amazing, but uh <laughs> you can blame you can blame my 10th grade English teachers for not teaching me any more, you know what I mean, synonyms. So <laughs> <laughs> but Lincoln Christian, man, uh, such a I mean there I don't know too many high schools that 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 has the quality of people um throughout throughout its entirety. Uh, that Lincoln has uh, working there. I'm talking about uh, just in the athletic department, but the administration, the teachers, uh, everybody's about the kids. And I think, you know, one of the biggest things that I continue to, that, that was just hammered into me is that if you do the right thing, good things are going to find you. And the right thing to do when you're in charge of leading uh, young people is to do right by them. You know, te don't, don't just, you know, use them for sport, but teach them the things that they need to succeed in life outside of, athletics and and um i think lincoln christian high school athletics and, and what they do there is i think it's second to none uh coach jerry ricky has mentored me these last two years and uh i i told him when honestly true story when when i was talking to coach hoops um at bethel and he was asking me about you know people who who may be uh people of interest for the job i told coach ricky i say listen I told him about you, man, and how awesome you were. I know you won't leave Lincoln, but I just let him know that, I mean, that it's just been awesome to learn and grow under Coach Ricky and the people at Lincoln Christian. We're speaking now with Coach A.B. Stokes. It's a privilege here to have him on the summit today here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you please to consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, I, I know it was announced a little bit earlier today as we're visiting, and uh, you, you've got a staff that that is – Coming together, and uh, those names that were announced a little bit earlier today, Coach Jason Greider and Coach Reggie Langford, to be a part of your staff heading into Bethel for the next season. Yes, sir. Two two great people. Two great people. Coach Greider, uh, a veteran coach um, who, who's got a lot of head coaching experience, just a lot of football knowledge and experience, um, and not just on the football side of things, but also like running programs. And that's what I lean on coach for just, you know, some of the things that I, I may miss when it comes to running programs. And, and it, this is my daughter. right? Here. She, <laughs> wants, she wants to see what's going on. All right. We're glad to have her on the program. Yeah. So family first over here every day, all day. Yes, so. sir. Um, but uh, 
you know, Coach Grider just – I'm just going to lean on him with all of his knowledge and expertise when it comes to, uh, you know, every little aspect of running the football program and, and growing it in, in, the, in the right direction. And then Reggie Langford. Um, I really consider Reggie a, a real brother. You know, we played uh, for the same coach, uh, college coach, and had, had of the same value. Um, I've said it time and time again. I think he's a great offensive mind and an even better person, an even better person. And I, I, I think, you know, Bethel College, um, it, it's continue um, to, to bless bless the students on campus by, by adding these two to staff for sure. Coach, I, I want to read something that that uh, was mentioned about you in, in the introductory uh, post and article uh, as, as you were coming on to Bethel. You thank God for the opportunity, and you want to be leading and guiding to minister to these young men in the hopes that they graduate from Bethel as better men than when they arrive. Talk about what that means. Uh, all that means is we want to pour into them more than just football. You know, uh, we had a list of priorities when we had our team meeting on Monday. And number one was was um, God and our faith. You know, it's a, it's a private Christian school. And, you know, Bethel's a place where I, what I love about Bethel is they want people to grow in their faith. Um, and, and they want people to do it, you know, at their own pace and on their own journey. And it's our job as leaders to, to just help them find their path. You know what I mean? And so we want to pour into them spiritually. Uh, we want to pour into them as men and, and, and you know, as, as as family men to be, you know, better, better husbands, better fathers, better sons someday. We want we want them just better in every aspect and then academically as well. So it's just, you know, we just want we want them focused. The focus is not, you know, they're not just going to be coached. Um, with the X's and O's, you know, they're going to be coaches. We're going to have some, some tough situations in, uh, that we deal with, you know, students, uh, college students get into, you know, crazy situations. Sometimes I did myself as a freshman in college, you know, and um, we just deal with some things where we, we want to be able to help guide them through it and, and, and teach them the right ways. And I think football is just a tool to do that. And uh, we're definitely going to use that tool wisely. Well, Coach, you you mentioned that you're coming into a different situation, and there's no question about that. I mean, you know, one in ten back in 2017 when when you guys were coming into that situation, and now Bethel is is really has established itself within the KCAC. Another nine and one season in conference play, nine and two overall, and mm -hmm. uh, just really a, a fantastic program. So, uh, you know, I wish you well as you go into that. The, the Thresher fans are going to be seeing something. Uh, what, what are they going to be looking at this year when they, they see a Coach Stokes-led team? I mean, I, honestly, it, it's, it's going to be a, a, a lot of the same. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, the, the, the biggest thing is we're just going to – we're going to try to end uh, what's been established there. Again, I was a part of, um, you know, the, the original uh, staff that was there that created, you know, the momentum for these players to have an opportunity to turn this program around, right? So um, – for lack of better terms, I've seen the DNA, the blueprints of of what went into turning this program around. And it'd be crazy for me to to go away from from those things. But at the same time, you know, I want to enhance it. I know some of the things that that we didn't do, you know, um, and some of the things that they that they do at Lincoln, like like serve the community a little bit better. You know, going to help teach these young men um, what is, is is not just all about football. Right. And I say that. But then it trickles down to the field. Like I, I talked with Dan about it. Um, when, when you when you do these things, they, they just trickle down to the field and you invest into a place. You really want to give your best efforts um, in everything you do for that place. So uh, that includes uh, Saturdays playing football. So I, I say a lot of the same, but uh, offensively, you know, you may you may see a step away from under center a couple of times once or twice. You know? <laughs> You might see that if, if, if you were getting at that. But uh, as far as the culture of it, the Father Abraham is going nowhere. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. we're still Father Abraham University. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's what we are. Um, we are. We're going to honor God. We're going to we're going to honor our families, honor one another and honor the institution. So, well, we look forward to watching and, and here at Midwest Sports Net, we're definitely going to be watching you all in the coming season. Heading into fall of 2022. I know it uh, seems like a long ways away right now, but it'll get here before we know it. Coach A.B. Stokes, congratulations on the new opportunity there at Bethel. We appreciate you taking time for us today. Success to you as you head into the new year with your new staff and your new team, and, and uh, we'll be following you.
Yes, sir. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime.